the loveliness of love, gee darling. It is not the physical attributes that interest this lover. Tenderness and loyalty are most important. Trusting in someone that you can pour your heart out to and whose spirits would be joined even in death. The loveliness of love. It is not beauty I demand, a crystal brow, the moon's despair, nor the snow's daughter, a white, a white hand, nor mermaid's yellow pride of hair. Tell me not of your starry eyes, your lips that seem on roses fed, your breasts where Cupid trembling lies, nor sleeps for kissing of his bed. A bloomy pair of vermeil cheeks like Hebe's in her ruddiest hours. A breath that softer music speaks than summer winds of wooing flowers. These are but gods. Nay, what are lips? Coral beneath the ocean stream, whose brink when your adventurer sips full oft he perisheth on them. And what are cheeks but ensigns off that wave hot youth to fields of blood? Did Helen's breast, though ne'er so soft, do Greece or Ilium any good? Eyes can with baleful ardor burn, poison can breathe that erst perfumed. There's many a white hand holds an urn, with lovers' hearts to dust consumed. For crystal brows there's not within, they are but empty cells for pride. He who the siren's hair would win is mostly strangled in the tide. Give me instead of beauty's bust a tender heart, a loyal mind, which with temptation I could trust, yet never linked with error find. One in whose gentle bosom I could pour my secret heart of woes, like the care burthened honey fly that hides his murmurs in the rose. My earthly comforter, whose love so indefeasible might be that, when my spirit won above, hers could not stay for sympathy 